Perched on the hillside in the shadows of the surrounding high-rise is Pokfalam village. It was home to the city's first dairy. That closed more than 30 years ago, but around 2,800 people still live here in one of the island's last indigenous communities. This village means a lot to me. I was born here and have been living here for more than 70 years. I don't plan to move elsewhere. Suk Ching Fung's family are fourth generation residents and proud of the village's history, stretching back more than 400 years. The local population lived around the dairy and after World War II it became home to a flood of refugees from mainland China. But its central location on Hong Kong Island has made it a target, with developers keen to demolish the site. There has always been talks every two or three years about knocking down the village. We don't know what will happen after the demolition or when it will take place, but we constantly live in anxiety. Despite decades of campaigns, locals have failed to convince the Hong Kong government to preserve the village. So now they're turning to the public for help. This is their first open day. Tickets were $50 each and the tour was sold out, with visitors given an insight into the historical significance of village life. I hope to see this place preserved because village life is what the villagers love the most. As uh, such a big uh, opposite to living in Hong Kong Island and that you can find this not too far away from our place and uh, it's very beautiful. There are plans to restore and preserve parts of the dairy. The government has already committed around $15 million to turn it into a public museum. But there are no guarantees that the rest of this village built around the dairy will also be saved. The village's cultural heritage has been recognised overseas. The World Monuments Fund, based in New York, dedicated to preserving heritage sites, has placed it on its watch list. Conservationists hope that open days like this will convince the Hong Kong government to do the same. If this village is gone, we will lose our history and memories, which hold significance in maintaining diversity of lifestyle choices. These buildings may look like sprawling, crumbling facades to some. To these villagers, they're a survivor of the city's past. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.